Plus, I worked at a Martian restaurant. Calling all space cadets. And they don't like people. And the naked truth. Do you see yourself naked at the end of the day tonight? It's all happening now on tropical paradise known as Hawaii. As we've flown two lucky singles there to see if the island can work its magic. And if the magic isn't there, we'll settle for a couple of palm trees and bikinis. And our Hawaiian adventure is coming up a little bit later. But first, let's get to know our mainland couple, Beth and her date, Mark. Now, Beth is a makeup artist who refers to herself as spunky. In fact, she says she's never afraid to go out and make a fool of herself, which makes her perfect for our show. Now, Mark is into hiking, reptiles, and jewelry, and describes himself as non-serious. Well, why didn't he just say he was funny? Let's hear more. I'm brutally honest when it comes to what I feel. I bend the truth sometimes. Bugs me about guys is sometimes they're too cocky. A lot of people consider me odd. I'm a beer girl. I do shots. I'll drink you under the table. <laughs> I'm basically obsessed by reptiles. Obsessed by reptiles. Oh, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, here, let's go. What do you do? I'm a makeup artist. Oh, nice. That's why your makeup looks really good. Oh, my, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Should hope so. <laughs> So are you into reptiles? Am I into reptiles? It'd be rare if you are. I don't own any. <laughs> What's that? I don't own any, but I do like them. You like them? Uh -huh. Wow, that's cool. That's unusual. Why do you own some? What do you have? I have five granite spinies, a leopard gecko, oh yeah, a desert iguana, and a desert spiny, which is like the granite spiny, only it doesn't have all the colors. Oh. shop in Century City Shopping Center. Welcome. Who wants to go first? Can you take your glove off for me? Just this one. You're gonna put your hand like this. Now look up. Whoa, passionate guy. Wow. Lots of passion here. Whoa. I was pretty much like wondering if I'm gonna meet my soulmate on this date. And well. I think I have, so I think I'm There going. you go. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> I'm so guy. honored. <laughs> Beautiful green. Best friends. Can't beat a beat of green for friends. Do you have pets? No, I want one. I you want one? Oh, oh, okay. She wants Love. a reptile. Love them in my apartment. Love, okay. She wants you a do reptile. do have an affinity towards animals. And green, of course, is the complementary color to red. Nice. Yeah. Bonus. Okay, I'm going to do first to third degree burns on your face, and you're going to be all nasty looking. Have you ever gone out with the reptile obsessive compulsive? No, I can't say that I have. Gonna be on one side? Yep. That looks really, really real. <laughs> Especially that blister. Oh yeah, the stars are cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> have you ever eaten in a French restaurant? I don't think I have. I haven't. I worked at one. I worked at a Martian restaurant, and I did not eat the food. I didn't want to eat the food. Restaurant? Yeah. It wasn't on Mars, it was here. Oh, really? Yeah. And Martians worked there. And they don't like people. They don't, do not like humans. Oh. When they told me they were going to abduct me, I was just like, bring it on. Bring it on, you What kind of guy 
guys that you like? Well educated. Um, possessed. I gotta have some possessed. Possessed? Possessed. Oh. <laughs> yes, they have to put possessed and be able to spew and like turn their head in 360 degrees. Right on. Exactly what I'm looking for. Well, what, what are you looking for? <laughs> the really last two women I were, was with, they both thought I was some kind of a god. And I don't know, like, they just, like, worshipped me or something, and, like, and had to have me around all the time. And, uh, like, I don't know. Do you want an apple tart? No, I don't want anything. I'm stuck. <laughs> Is Marie there? He's a geek. No, he's not like ugly, just geek, like reptile boy. There's gonna be those blurbs and there's gonna be like boa constrictor strangling my neck and I just know it. Beth did the right thing there. Just back away quietly and call it a night. And she'll tell us all about her rather interesting evening with Mark when we come back. And for the break, Beth found herself stuck, I mean out, with Mark. And let's face it, things were a bit bizarre, especially when Mark referred to himself as reptile obsessive compulsive. Oh, and that Martian restaurant story? That didn't help his cause. He's a lizard king and a king of all losers. When we talked about lizards, she was she was into it. I am so not sexually attracted to this person. It was. It was basically a perfect date. I was totally going through the motions on trying to get through the night. I think I did close the deal with her. There's no way I'd go out on a second date with him. I will definitely be asking her out. And I'm about positive that it is on. So, Mark is positive that it's on. But then again, he was positive he was E.T.'s waiter. 